Hello, darling. Do you have the time, please? It's Beer Monster O'Clock. <laughs> yeah, hello, darlings. Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, the Beer Monster Reviews. Gonna be reviewing this one for you today, which I paid just 69 pence for in Home Bargains. Uh, it is a lager style beer. Uh, and it's a uh, Italian lager. Look at that lovely little Italian village there. Look at that. Lovely, eh? Right, let's have a little read. It says, Bira Murano, Traditionale Traditione Italiana. Sounds rather nice, doesn't it? You got a little uh, Italian signature on there and a little bit of writing on the back here for you. Bira Murano Traditione Italiana Lager. Clean yet crisp with refreshing bitterness and a hint of citrus. Bira Murano brings together all the hallmarks of a traditional Italian pilsner, meticulously brewed using only five simple ingredients, which are water, barley, malt, wheat, and hops. Oh yeah, um, at the bottom there. Brewed and bottled for signature brands Manchester. So yeah, that's enough of that bullshit. It ain't fucking Italian. All right, it's, again, it's like Madri, giving it all the big with the name and all that, Traditiniano and fucking Gino De Campo special and all that. It's brewed in Manchester. It's not Italian at all. Uh, for signature brands, which is probably a British company as well, they're just giving it all the all of this just to try and make you think it's Italian. Oh, it must be like a uh, Biamaretti or you know, it's so obvious what they're trying to do, and it. it's just I'm just really sick of the fake fakeness of it all. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd give it a rue anyway. It's only sixty nine pence in the home bargains. It might be all right. You never know. Um, maybe it'd be better than Madri. Oh. <laughs> I don't think Madri is all that, by the way. <laughs> um, it's a 330 ml bottles, uh, can, bottle, obviously. Um, oh, just got a Remy bottle over there. Yeah, so it is quite small, but for 69 pence, give it a go. I have heard mm. that a few weeks ago it was 25p a bottle in Home Bargains. So yeah, not expecting much, but you know, who knows, it might be a white wine here. Let's crack her open. Stick it in. Oh, supposedly it's a Pilsner style lager as well. Oh, I'll stick it in the uh, Pilsner lager glass. It's looking a nice sort of golden colour. There you go. There is the beer in the glass. Not crazy levels of carbonation actually. This one's quite. Uh, for a lager, I'd say sort of light to medium carbonation. Yeah, it's just your typical sort of uh, macro lager colour, colour really, isn't it? Nice sort of golden colour. Heads quite small and disappearing quite quickly. Very quickly, actually. Let's have a little whiff. There's like a, a sweet maltiness to it. <sighs> yeah, a bit bit of citrus as well. <sighs> anyway, let's uh, get it down the neck and uh, see if it's like a mama used to make. Cheers, guys. Bosh. It's not that bad, actually. really ain't that bad <laughs> it's not that good either but uh i'd say it's better than madri and it certainly uh hasn't got the attention that madri's got has it let's face it uh it's like citrusy i think it's like lemony citrusiness about it which i was getting on the aroma as well as the sort of sweet bready biscuity sort of malts it ain't too bad as it's a bit simple to be honest uh 
but it's all right. It's, there's not like, a great depth of flavour going on here, really. So it's quite malty. You're getting the citrus. It lacks any real depth. There's not really much going on, but it's very easy drinking. It's crisp. It's refreshing. I don't think there's any nasties in it or anything like that. No syrup or anything like that, which is uh, always nice to hear, isn't it? It's nice enough. It's just a standard lager, really. Not really getting that sort of um, pills and a spice, though. It does have a bitterness on the end, but it's very slight. Uh, but, you know, it's better than your Carlins of the world, and your Carlsbergs and your Fosters. You know, it's not too bad. It really ain't. I'd rather them just stop lying and stop giving it all the come and have my special meatball and all that and just say it's a British beer from Manchester. Give it a go, you know, and i would probably give this a lot more credit because there's not many great British lagers, is there? You know, uh, and this could be known as uh, one of the better British lagers. But instead, anyone who actually knows even a little bit about beer is just going to say, oh, that's that fake crap that they pretend's Italian and won't buy it for that reason. You know what I mean? You just don't want to support that kind of uh, behaviour, really, do you? Just uh, be true to, or just, just be true to their self, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of annoying, but I must admit the beer itself ain't that bad. It went down really easy, actually. Uh, it's just something very easy drinking uh, about this lager for me. Right, I'd say that's a very good session kind of lager, 4.6% as well. Probably tastes a little bit weaker than that for me. But yeah, it is a good, a good summer day session lager. Uh, I would say if you can get it for a cheap price like I did, I'd say uh, there's nothing really not to like about it. It's one of them inoffensive ones. You probably won't love it, but you'll probably think it's all right. I reckon most people think it's all right and just drink it. You know, like it's just a standard sort of affair, really. So especially if you see it for 25p, uh, don't be afraid to stock up, you know, for that price. I'll see it for 25p. I'll fill my, uh, fill my fridge up, do you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this, oh, I've got to give it a, got to give it a score, and I? I'll give it a seven. I'll give it a seven out of 10 for a lager. You know, it's, it's all right. I've had a lot worse. I've had better, but yeah. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed this review, guys, and consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the little bell button next to the subscribe button. And it will notify you every time I uh, bring out a new video. Even if you haven't subscribed, but you might not have pushed that bell button, you can go ahead and do that. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you on the next video. Yeah, guys. Bye-bye, darling.